Hey, what's going on everybody? Alexander here, High Winds EDC. We are back with another High Winds unboxing. Um, this is gonna be in preparation for an event that I love called Fixed Blade February. All right, y'all ready for it? Are y'all gearing up for Fixed Blade February this year? I am. So before we get into the lads, get into that, let's do a pocket check. Front left pocket is the, ooh, sorry, mind my lighting, uh, the Hitchin Timber, no, Hitch and Timber Rustic Heirloom Hitchhiker in this beautiful bourbon ghost leather. It's already starting to patina away. We like it. It's awesome. Let's see. We also have in the front left pocket the um, key situation, JRW Tough Clip. I really, really am enjoying this. This is a great way to carry my keys. Um, so yeah, there's that. Let's see. What else do we have? Front left pocket. From right pocket, we have the hair drop leather Hastati with our um, micro stream from Streamlight and our new uh, Pinya Pry Bar. This thing is really awesome. I love it with the copper inlay, the Tapo um, lasering, titanium, made by Pinya and Javier Garcia. So we really appreciate that. The main knife, you know, I love me some Andrew Demko 8020.5, the 8020.5. Um, this one's the one with mine and my wife's wedding date on it. My wife had lasered for me. Love it. Let's see. In this awesome Carhartt jacket, we don't have anything except for I had my Mio Mini Plus in here earlier. I was playing some Game Boy stuff. Back right pocket, we have our handy dandy bandana. And since it's cold, boy, uh, sorry, we got chapstick. So, yeah, this EDC friendly lip balm. I, I, it was cheap, so I got it. Uh, let's see back left pocket is empty and then on the waist we are belt carrying the uh, Benya Apache this is in the beautiful uh, what I've taken to calling it red dirt micarta um, love this custom so yeah let's get into the unboxing and for that we are going to open it with the Demco 8020.5 See what we got going on. Try to keep it out of y'all's view, especially all my uh, personal information. I taped it up pretty good. We love senders who tape up things pretty good. So, okay, we're, oh, oh man, some good packaging up in here. Like that, we appreciate that. Open this up, got some styrofoam billets. Here, got some bubble wrap. Oh, you taped it to the box. We appreciate the heck out of that. Cool. Let's get into this part right here. This doesn't have a box, so that's fine. Uh, this is saran wrapped. I really like this. I appreciate this. Cool. First things first. The first order of business. A fixed blade, a very recognizable fixed blade in the EDC community, the Bradford Guardian 3. Stone wash finish, M390 blade steel. Sorry, G10 handles, very, very sturdy. A beautifully uh, wrapped lanyard. I think we're going to keep that for now. Got some jimping on the spine. Great EDC. Um, size thicker stock than the uh, uh, what it was it the Boker AK1 oh nice and snappy kydex sheath with um, some belt harnesses is what I'll call those may flip it to the other side but I, ideally I think these are meant to be carried um, like at this front area and since these belt clips come on and off I'm assuming it'd be a lot of weight on just kind of this one side so I got an ulti clip coming in, so I might EDC this with an ulti clip in the pocket. We'll see. Um, more on that later. But yeah, Bradford Guardian 3. A great EDC fixed blade. Um, yeah, so like I said in the beginning of the video, it's going to be fixed blade February. And two years ago I did it. I didn't do it last year, but uh, just kind of gearing up for that. And so that also brings us... Oh, sorry to our next 
bit of mail. This is also saran wrapped. I greatly appreciate that. This pr protects any, uh, let me see. This protects any water seepage or anything. If, if, if the package gets contaminated with water, kind of helps seal it up so there's no water damage in the future. But Pena X series. What, didn't you just have an uh, X series unboxing? What's going on, Alexander? Let's get into that. This is, yeah, the Pena box. This is good. Got the Pena X series microfiber cloth. That's great. We love some microfiber in this mug. Sorry, I'm looking for a place to put all this. Oh, this is nice. Where's the, uh, okay, I see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. It's all right. Another Pena X series, but a fixed blade. What, Alexander? Oh my goodness! Look at this thing, guys. It's it is small. I was forewarned by a buddy of mine, Damien, um, that this is a very small chiquito knife. Nice little sheep's foot style blade. Definitely a pocket scalpel. I've heard it called on YouTube, um, which is very interesting to call a knife a pocket scalpel and then for it to actually live up to that reputation. Um, this is made by Pinion Knives, M390 blade steel as well, which is very similar to um, 20 CV or I forgot, uh, 204P, I believe is the other. Um, but yeah, this is a Bowler M390. So we'll get a lanyard up on this so that way I can add a little bit more. But I mean, guys, this looks like what some would consider a package princess not completely unlike your mom but um yeah it's something that you know would be good for opening packages and stuff and so we're gonna we're gonna put this to the test put this m390 to the test in, in a work environment especially during fixed blade february okay we're locked in let's go ahead and get that ulti clip in the pocket for now it's good it's um he sent it left carry left-handed carry configuration I didn't get back to him in an adequate amount of time to ask him to switch it over. So we're going raw in the pocket. Oh yeah, it's all right. It's good to go. I mean, that's nice. I will say that you are right there if you're going to put it in the pocket. Cool. Yeah, that's nice. It's solid, not going anywhere. One thing that I will say that's concerning a little bit, not entirely, is the uh, ulti clip itself is really close to the blade. So there's potential to flex and like maybe scratch up the, um, the iron wood scales, which these are aftermarket scales. Let's take a look at those. This is what I've been waiting on for a couple days now. Pena X series. Yeah. This is a good little, little micro fixed blade. So why micro fixed blade? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys, cause one thing that I thought was super strange, out of all the knives that I've handled, custom or otherwise, um, high-end production, uh, what would you call it, uh, mid-techs and stuff like that, handled a couple of customs, uh, handled Koenig Arias, the Koenig Mini Goblin, Chris Reed Knives, uh, custom Peñas. The one knife in my whole collection that I've gotten the most positive feedback from has been this guy right here. This is a, um, I can't remember, MKM is the, I, I don't know what the uh, letters stand for. Magnaglio, uh, Managio Italy. This little guy, this little sheep's foot blade has been the one I've gotten the most compliments and positive feedback on. Little micarta, something small that people can just like throw in their pocket, throw in their neck. It's originally designed to be like a neck knife or you can use this magnet right here and carry it in your pocket. And I've gotten so much positive feedback from this guy and in the last year i've recently discovered as i've been going along collecting para drop leather that this knife in the main slot of a triari uh is is wondrous because then you can pocket carry a fixed blade in in the bottom of your pocket this one is specifically uh, uh i had this one specifically made to also have a belt 
carrier with it as well. So that way I, I can EDC this on the belt. And then now I, now I have a fixed blade on my belt, which is super reliable. Fast forward to what we got going on here. This might be a little taller. Boom. Perfect. I mean, I like, I mean, it's sticking out pretty far, pretty high, which is fine. But that's why we have stuff like this. Ooh. The Texas Triari with the belt clip. And it rests in there. I mean, it's got a little bit of play, but I guarantee you, once you stick something like a Pena pry bar in this front uh, caddy pocket, like so, yeah, it's not gonna be bouncing around as much. Still a little bit of play. Very thick. I might even consider removing the pocket clip off of the Pena pry. Um, even though I'm scared to do it because that is a very small uh, Torx head. Uh, what about on something like a full-size regular Triari? Like this Sega Haya pattern. I'm very cautious about this because while the leather itself is durable, I'm afraid to poke a hole on the other side and ruin a Triari. Um, but we have more coming on that. So this is how it would look, and this is perfect. Boom, you get a pocket fixed blade and uh, very easily not put a pry bar in the front. Let's see, what else do I have as far as pry bars? Where's my glow rhino when you need it? There it is. This is a glow rhino, just a regular flat pry bar. Still stretches it out a bit, but then look, boom, now you're perfect. Now there's no play in the in the sheath and so that's perfect you just kind of tuck your lanyard away this way put a lanyard here then you can uh, let's see where we at there it is then you can put your flashlight in your pen let's see i don't know where my pen went i'm gonna have to look for that and boom there you go perfection and then you can also carry your folder inside your pocket as well um, but this way you know you have a fixed blade going for you something trusted and reliable yeah it's awesome so sorry I didn't mean to go into that wormhole that uh, rabbit hole uh, if you will but yeah we're gonna sorry gotta remember to get these back in yeah we're gonna go through this I'm, I'm gonna carry this it's gonna be my fixed blade February carry I'm pretty stoked that I have these options now um thank you guys for watching this unboxing i'm super stoked uh maybe later uh, along down the line um I'll, I'll do some size comparisons and stuff like that but it's already 13 minutes 13 and a half minutes into the video and kind of spent a lot of time talking about the pena x series but yeah that that all that to say is that it's going to be a better carry for me for high winds uh alexander me uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, pretty stoked about this guy right here. I'm probably gonna carry this a little bit today. Gonna flip it around the other way. Uh, it's just great, guys. I'm super stoked. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, God bless you. Stay warm out there. Uh, it's cold as balls out here. It's so cold right now. Um, hence the layering and stuff like that. Oh, sorry. I hope that wasn't like that the whole video. It looked like a schmuck getting closer and closer to what do you call it gear nirvana just with the things that i have learning to appreciate them a little bit more uh so yeah thank you guys for watching you guys have a wonderful day stay warm and god bless you bye now